Good morning, guys. Um, welcome back to the channel. Um, so when I did the uh, engine restore or valve stem seal replacement, the plan was to add the oil cooler um, on when assembling. But as you guys will, will know if you've watched the video, um, link up top here. Uh, then <clears throat> there was a rush to get the vehicle done so I can make it to the skid pan uh, weekend. Um, so there wasn't a lot of filming of the rebuttoning and that's because there was a rush to get the motor done, to get it up, to get it running, to have a day's worth of, uh, you know, bleeding the system and all that kind of stuff. So that it was ready for the next day on the track or on the skid pan. Um, needless to say, it was an epic day. Uh, car ran smoothlessly, but I did notice that after about four rounds, the motor started getting hot, oil pressure starts dropping. So here we are and we are ready to fit the oil cooler. So what I'll show you, what I've done so far is obviously jack the car, you can see her there, jacked her up, taken the bump off, okay, and I've drained the fluid. So, <clears throat> yeah, this being a South African model, I'm not too sure in the US what model this would be, I would imagine it's the Touring or the GT model or something like that. Um, as it's got, uh, we've got somebody running in the neighborhood. <laughs> anyway. Um, <clears throat> so it's got this water tank over here, which is the water bottle that you fill up through the engine bay. It's got the motors that spray the windshield and the rear window, right? Then it's got this transport port system that runs across to this side, which got another water bottle with another motor, which goes to that outlet and to, where's the other one? Into that outlet. Oh my goodness, it's like noise galore today. Anyway, um, which go to the nozzles on the bumper which spray the headlights. Um, why I have not deleted this yet, I don't know. Uh, one of the major things is I'm not too sure how to plug this up. So these are a quick release disconnect. So you can see press and press and pull. Press. <laughs> it's supposed to be quick release. Um, then you press press like this and it opens it up disconnect so I've been fiddling with nut certs but I don't have the gun to compress the nut so I was thinking if I hammer it in and try and turn hopefully there's enough torque to get it to collapse but uh, this being this fiberglass composite whatever it just turns itself loose um, so I'm busy making it uh, we're gonna make a bracket now that's gonna fit in here I've already shaved down these uh, pieces here because they were getting in the way. Working on this, um, building a bracket that basically it's a 90 degree, it fits in here. Um, I will figure out how to re the harness either over the cooler like this or underneath. We'll still see. Um, and then, yeah, these hoses as well. I think, let me go show you the bracket quickly. Oh, she's nice and dirty, by the way. Uh, mods coming soon. Yeah. <clears throat> I went to cut, this is a, a 50 by 50 square tube, 2 mil thick, so what I went and did and cut is, went and cut out a piece and these are two 32 mil um, holes where they are 250 mils apart, alright, um, and then the oil cooler slots in here, <clears throat> so this, this will mount up to the car over here. <clears throat> So you can see those holes are gonna, I'm gonna use those holes as mounting points. It's gonna hold this bracket up here, which is gonna hold the cooler in place. It's gonna be it, and then the lines come in. Um, the lines are gonna run across here. Um, probably through this, I'm not too sure yet. In between here, so through here, and then, <laughs> geez, it's gonna run through this because I don't want it to run in here by the wheel arch area, so it's gonna run through this passed here to the well filter which is sitting over there you can see a little trick i marked 127,000 kilometers was when i replaced this filter to be honest that's two weeks ago <laughs> i've got another new filter and some extra oil um since we're going to be fitting the sandwich adapter in yeah okay so got this in the vice and set up in the vice 
Curlers over there. I basically want to mark uh, where to drill holes into this to mount the cooler. So I need to find us a nice sturdy spot. So I'm just using uh, normal Tipex just to mark off where, where it's sitting. So what that's done is left me with this, and that, and that, and I can mark out to turn the trouble off. Okay, so because of this thing flexing when I'm trying to drill, I'm taking this piece of wedge it in underneath here, see if that helps. This is gonna work. Right. Like I want to transfer the whole position onto onto this metal plate, mm -hmm. so I know where to drill the holes. I'm thinking, take thinnest color in around the hole, and then take this and press it on here. Hopefully, it transfers. It's about center. Ah, oh, cock. I think it worked. <laughs> hey! Hey! One, two. Is that the third one? It's because it's dry already. Shit. Get a piece of paper. Yeah, it's gonna be easier now. Cut it out this size. Yeah. Yeah. Get a piece of paper that then you put in there. Yeah, by the holes, you just do this. And it'll make, it, make the hole. You just Protrude. press the paper yeah. like this and yeah. then share like this. Yeah. And then that hole, you'll see you'll the hole. You'll see the hole in the yeah. paper. Okay, so normal piece of paper. And we'll have our holes. Over here we've got our holes that we marked, right? Um, I bent the paper backwards in that direction. So this is the front, right? As you can see this hole on this side I it was sitting there all right so that was the hole guys <laughs> the video cut out my phone ran out of memory um, yeah I don't usually record videos so this was new to me um, so since then a lot has happened um, it's a week later uh, so let me show you what we've done last time the video cut out we were busy test fitting our bracket so what we've done since is basically we've drilled our okay we had our holes and everything um we welded in these gussets and i've made this bracket underneath here it ties up to the top so that's holding the cooler in place we've also put uh these are normal grommets so we just use them as as our rubber rubber spaces between so you can see uh, i don't know yeah um to allow flex in the cooler um and then uh with the lines that i had made i had made them too long my short line was the the right length for the long line so i had the long line made shorter lined it up made a marking took it back had them crump on new pieces for me um so yeah let's show you the setup underneath so we've got our sandwich adapter over here with our uh Temp sensor, I still need to wire this up. Filters on, it's all buttoned up. We got swivel 90s over here because the way that these joints are, are made, they're crimped on, so they don't, orientation wise, so 
in this direction yes but in this direction orientation wise i can't change so i needed to then provide them with offsets now i didn't know that i was going to mount the cooler straight down or the adapter straight down then i could have told them no zero offset and then we would have had straight up straight up right but i didn't know if i was going to mount the cooler off to the side or towards the back or what the case would be um so i went with a swivel setup where it screws on here and that screws onto the sandwich adapter uh so i've tightened this all up now uh the hoses are on you can see i've got the wheel um basically there. Okay, so that's full full lock and these hoses are gonna come up here there like that you can see we're more than enough space we won't have any rubbing issues um, the other thing is here where they run through over here that's exactly where the fender pulls away from here so it's it's like perfect but uh, yeah it's all all mounted um, pretty much done ready um, to put more oil in the motor and then crank her and uh, inspect for leaks. Pretty damn neat, I must say I'm happy with this. The hoses are long enough. So previously the hose used to run through that cut out there. So I cut this away to allow it to run through here now. Hey looky, hey bud, hey looks. Hey buddy. Oh, yo. oh, oh, you just got bath today and now you're lying in this dirty, on this dirty paving in the, in the sleeves, eh? Hey, hey, say hello to everybody, looky. Say hello to everybody. Oh, here's Oreo. Hey, bud. Hey, Oreo. Hey, buddy. Hey, look here. Say hello to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Oh, say hi. Okay. Anyway, guys, um, back to back to this. Um, I've just got a cable tie here just to hold them against to make sure that they don't flop around. But again, we can check the lock. See, oh, it's full lock. Okay, it's full lock. Here we go, guys. Now you can see more than enough space. So I'm happy with that. Now it's just hoping that there are no leaks. Okay, so added about a liter of oil. Looking for leaks now. So far, so good. Oh, uh, something I forgot to show you guys is the, the wiring harness. Used to run clip in here, clip in there, and then they load a clip here, and then it would run up. All of that now is up. Put to the top, it now clips into the cooler on top here, and out. So, yeah, so far, so good. Not seeing any major oil leaks. As you guys can see, uh, if we look over here, yeah, we've got oil pressure. Um, so I'm just letting her run, see if we're getting any leaks. So far so good guys, so far so good. She's work working, ooh, ooh she's warm, oh she's warm. Uh -huh. Okay so we have got well flow through here, that's definitely happening. Sweet, I think that's a success. Alrighty. So now we've got the bumper back on and we can show you what it looks like. So cooler sitting here. You can check with, if we look at the bumper, it's above the bumper. Just, just, but yeah, you can get an idea from here. So it's, it's not that low um, and the bumper is going to be coming lower or going to become lower soon. Anyway, um, the part I'm the most proud about is uh, it's a clearance when the bumper goes in. And then, up, and it comes out of here, right? But it's just, just not touching. Just, just not touching. It's perfect, beautiful. Um, I think I'm gonna wrap this one up live. Um, thanks everybody for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, um, please like, subscribe. Sorry about the phone that died and uh, that I couldn't show you some more of the manufacturing of the bracket and the actual fitting of the bracket. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. There's tons of videos out there of guys doing this. Uh, the only difference with mine is I had lines, hydraulic lines made at a hydraulic shop um, to try and save some cost. But uh, yeah, it's a very simple install. 
a non-invasive install, which is what I like about this quite a lot, is if it's giving issues and I don't like what, I, what I'm getting, um, I can it. I can take it off and just put the filter back on. So I like this non-invasive. Um, should be good. I did see some issues on the track. Let's hope uh, this resolves those issues with uh, uh, the oil getting hot.